Okay, do apologize that I ate the um, the breakfast um, pumpkin bread, peanut butter, and banana. So I'm going to show you what it looked like. Everybody knows what it looks like, but I I'm addicted to this um, treat because it's not too filling, and I like it for breakfast. So you probably have some other breakfast um, items. I'll be glad for you to show them and I'm, I am looking for you guys to show them because I haven't seen I think I've seen some of you post but not a not a lot we have uh, 28 people in our group so I or is it less than that so show your car show anything you know it could be pictures it doesn't have to be video all right talk to you soon I know y'all know how to toast. It's almost done. I'm gonna move that back a little bit. So I can put my plate there. Up. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna move this back. So I can bring my toast back a little bit more. I think that's about a tablespoon, I guess. I love a lot of peanut butter, so I'm probably doing a little bit more. Because I always track, always track my calories as well. So, Oh, one for myself. I'm going to do this quickly because I'm at 2 minutes and 46 seconds. So let's see. How many more can we put on? <clears throat> and anything that's left over, I just put on the side. And then, so I put a little bit more peanut butter on the top, too. <laughs> there we are. And that's delicious. Oops. And that's delicious. Just have that with tea like you saw before. 
that's my breakfast. I may do a snack, some nuts or a granola bar or make my own granola. I'll show you how to do that too. It's easy, very easy from oatmeal, um, quick oats. So that's to come. Bye-bye. Okay, here we go, everybody. This is going to be string beans, mushrooms, and onions. I'm going to roast these, and I've seasoned them with salt, pepper, and olive oil. This is the tomatoes, celery, two celery stalks, and onions. It's going to be the lemon, dill weed, and the breadcrumbs going on my bluefish. So if you haven't seen bluefish, it is actually looked like this. Uh, I'm already cooking because these take a long time. The sweet potatoes, I'm baking them. And this is going to be our meal for Monday night. Can't wait. Roasting these. This doesn't take that long with the uh, bluefish. So those are going to go in last. And what I'll do is put them in a pan, take the bluefish, season it with olive oil, salt, and pepper, a little pepper, and that along with the dill weed. And then, um, you know, put the olive oil on it, front and back, salt and pepper. Come in here and spread the tomatoes, onions, and celery on top. Oh, and I also forgot, squeeze the uh, lemon onto <laughs> onto the fish then come with the tomatoes onions and celery and spread it on top of the fish and then we have the the dill weed and the um, breadcrumbs this time I'll promise to show you <laughs> my plate before we dig into it sometimes we get really hungry and we just dig in so see you around all right, I am making butternut squash soup. Right now, I cut up the squash, and that's the butter and sage and salt and pepper. In the meantime, while that's cooking, that takes about 55 minutes to an hour, by the way. On top of the stove, I have the onions, the apples, yeah, the onions, apples, butters, butters, oh my Lord, <laughs> that's funny. The onions, the apples, butter, salt, and pepper. So once I'm done, I'll mix. Alrighty, guys, here's the finished product. There's a big bowl of soup there. That's what that makes. And I took the liberty of putting it in a small bowl. And the garnishings are going to be pumpkin seeds. Here we are. So. And what I do is here we are and it's delicious especially on rainy days like this looks like we're trying to get tornadoes here as well so stay warm and productive 